Hey, this is Frog here with Day One Purchase, and I'm here talking about Nikon Revolution Pro. Uh, had this controller about a week. This is just a five minute, at least five minutes. I want try not to go over that quick uh, impression of it. I think that any product you buy, you should have. Uh, I don't get stuff early. I'm a consumer just like everybody else here watches me. So I think that a week, having something a week, a video game, uh, accessory, console, whatever, a week is enough time to really get a good impression and, and, and maybe a review. Uh, even if you don't, you know, some people say you have to be the game to really review it. I think a, instead of reviews, I think there should be impressions of what you feel within your first, you know, week. I think that's a better way to do it, to really know if it's a day one purchase for everybody. Okay, so I've had this a week. Uh, give, you, uh, give you two pros uh, and two cons. So, two pros, uh, my favorite things about this controller are, it's, uh, it has that rubbery um, kind of feel to it. Great. If your hands sweat, you don't need to buy anything else for this. This controller feels great and comfortable in hand. Uh, second pro, uh, the analog stick placement, to me, in the D-pad, are freaking phenomenal. Um, uh, especially if you're used to playing on, to me, one of the better controllers in the market, which is uh, the Xbox 360 controller. To me, that's one of the best controllers outside of Super Nintendo. Uh, that's one of the best controllers to me ever made. Um, Sony's best controller is obviously the PlayStation 4 Pro controller. So, you know, if I had to say the best three controllers that have ever been made, I would definitely say uh, they're definitely going to go to 360, Super Nintendo, and PlayStation 4. Uh, and not, not, not in any particular order, but I, I think, you know, PlayStation 4 and Xbox 360 controllers are, they're almost neck and neck. They're, they're pretty much even. They're, there's, there's things that they can both do better for the most part. 360 should have a uh, internal battery, so should the Xbox One. PlayStation is more battery life uh, to me. They need a longer battery life, and, and I think that, you know, both controllers would be perfect for what they do. But going back to this one, um, this controller is awesome for a PS4. Um, the, the cons I have is the sensitivity for the sticks, especially playing shooters, is really off. So you have to hook it up. You have to uh, have the app on your, on your computer. I have Max, so you have to have it on there. So I had a little bit of a problem on Max trying to, you know, so you're trying to download apps and, and adjust that stuff. But um, I do have a PC in the house, so you have to hook it up. You have to adjust that stuff for shooters because to me, it's very loose. I found myself getting um, killed a lot more and it was just super um, loose. It wasn't as tight as the, as the day one uh, PlayStation controller. So. I would definitely say if you're looking for, um, you know, um, a controller that's alternative, this is a great controller. The other uh, con to me is there's some buttons on the back. Uh, let's see, right there. I think the button placement is okay, but I, they put all four buttons so that you click, you can click in, you can click down, left to right, you know, you can click back and forth. I think they should have took two buttons and put them at the top and left the two but other two buttons at the bottom. I found myself clicking those by accident a lot. Um, um, and then, last but not least, I no longer have the controller because my son decided to take the controller and sit it on the top of the entertainment center while it was plugged into the PS4, while it was extended. So when a dog ran past, they yanked it down, pulled it out, broke the pins in there. Words of the wise, don't let your children, <laughs> you know, have anything that, you know, uh, you buy, especially if they're not going to buy it back for you. Uh, but it was only $65. That is kind of a little, little bit overpriced for a regular controller, but yeah. So initially, I would say this controller is solid. Uh, you know, you have to go in the app and you have to adjust some things to get it, the analog sticks because they're a little loose just right for you. But it's a solid piece of hard... Uh, or it's a solid accessory, not hardware. I guess you can say hardware. It's a solid accessory. Uh, I would say go on Amazon if you can find it for $65. Definitely a, a great alternative. Um, it doesn't have a speaker. Uh, it doesn't have a light. But, you know, it's, it's wired. So it's pretty solid. So that's basically what I think about this controller. Uh, I'll see you when my next controller comes in. It's going to be the Razer Raiju. 
So this is Frog with uh, Day One Purchase, and I'll see you on the flip side.